Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage SC19 Award Chair Jack Dongara. I'd like to uh, welcome you to the SC19 Award Ceremony. Awards play an important role in the SC Conference Series. They celebrate great ideas and innovation in high-performance computing. The selection of the finalists and winners follow a careful and thorough process involving many members of the SC Program Committee. Awards are not just plaques or certificates. They define excellence. They set the standard for future work. They inspire both young and senior researchers to do their very best. Being an awards finalist at SC19 is already a, an achievement, and you should be very proud of it. Winning an award is truly exceptional and can be one of the highlights of your career. And now, for more on the awards, please welcome SC Tech uh, Program Chair and Vice Chair Pavan Balachi and Tony Pena. Thank you, Jack. Uh, the technical program has been a central component of SE since its inception. And this year, Tony and I have had the privileged vantage point of the technical program chair and vice chair. Uh, this year's conference has many unique aspects. We continue to provide an expansive view of uh, HPC ecosystems, both current and well into the future. Through posters, papers, presentations, workshops, tutorials, and panels, and birds of a feather discussions, our program explores the latest and most innovative work in algorithms, applications, architectures and networks, clouds and distributed computing, data analytics, visualization and storage, machine learning and HPC, performance, programming systems, state of the practice, and system software. We're also proud to support the SC90 diversity initiative within the technical program. Throughout the various committees within the technical program, we placed an emphasis on di diversity in gender, geography, and institutional affiliation. We have built upon, the ex upon and extended the reproducibility initiative that was embraced by SC a few years ago. So every paper has a companion appendix that allows other researchers to reproduce their results. SC19 has, has achieved a new milestone towards transparency and reproducibility of our technical submissions. This has allowed for a process that encourages technical submissions to receive various reproducibility badges from ACM that further showcases the quality of the research being presented at SC19. Within the technical papers part of the technical program, we have continued the double-blind review process and allowed authors to submit revisions of their papers at various stages, leading to a higher overall quality of the technical papers program. For the first time, SC19 has worked with ACM and CHPC to make all of our proceedings freely and easily available to the entire world through Open Talk. I would like to thank all of you and the HPC community for bringing your ideas, innovations, and research to this conference. The work that you're doing is transformational and it is having an impact on ma major societal challenges as we have seen this week. This year's awards speak to the excellence in our community. Let's give a round of applause to all who have contributed to the technical program. The Tech Program Committee is composed of over 400 volunteers who spend many hours reviewing and selecting the winners, and they had some very tough decisions to make. On Tuesday, we announced the ACM and the IEEE Computer Society Awards. Those are Professor George Geoffrey Fox for the Kennedy Award for Outstanding Achievements, both in software research and in mentoring or other service activities. Professor Alan Edelman for the Fermac Award for Advances in Computational Science. Dr. David Kirk for the Cray Award for Innovative Contributions to HPC Systems. Congratulations to those winners. In this session, we present awards for the Student Cluster Competition, Best Student Paper, Best Paper, Taste of Time, Best Research Poster, ACM Student Research Competition, Best Visualization, IEEE Computer Society TCHPC Award for Excellence for Early Career Researchers in High Performance Computing, ACM CHPC Emerging Woman Leader in Technical Computing, 
ACM IEEE Computer Society George Michael Memorial HPC Fellowship, ACM Gordon Bella Prize, ACM CHPC Certificate of Appreciation to authors of the SC19 paper used for the SC19 Student Cluster Competition Reproducibility Initiative, and the ACM CHPC Intel Computational and Data Science Fellowships. Thank you for your participation in the best SC ever. Now I'll turn it back over to Jack for the awards presentation. Thanks, uh, Pavan and Tony. Let's begin with our first category of awards for the day. The student cluster competition, now in its 13th year, is comprised of two awards. The first is for achieving the highest LINPAC performance, and the second is for overall winner. These awards showcase student skills in a friendly yet spirited competition. It's a nonstop, real-time, 48-hour challenge where students race to assemble a small cluster on the show floor at SC to demonstrate the highest sustained performance across a series of applications. The students partner with vendors to, to design and build a cutting edge cluster from commercially available components with a power cap of three kilowatts and work with applications experts to tune and run the com competition codes. The student cluster competition is supported by Microsoft, NVIDIA, ARM, and BP. To present this year's winners, please welcome the SC19 Student Cluster Competition Chair, Rebecca Hartman Baker. The 2019 teams participating in the Student Cluster Competition are National Tsinghua University, Taiwan, ETH Zurich, Switzerland, Shanghai Tech University, China, Nanyang Technical University, Singapore, University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, United States, University of Tartu, Estonia, and Riga Technical University, Latvia, Friedrich Alexander University, Erlangen, Nuremberg, Germany, Purdue University, United States, University of Tennessee at Knoxville, Maryville College and Pellissippi State Community College, United States. University of Warsaw and Warsaw University of Technology, Poland. North Carolina State University, United States. Tsinghua University, China. Peking University, China. Shanghai Jiao Tong University, China. And University of Washington, United States. The first student cluster competition award goes to the team, student team with the highest LINPAC benchmark. When I read the winning team name, please join me on the stage. The winning team is Nanyang Technical, Technological University, Singapore. The overall student cluster competition winner was determined based on a combined score for correctly completed workload, benchmark performance, demonstrated understanding of architecture and performance through profiling and analysis, and interviews. The winner of the overall student cluster competition is
Tsinghua University, China. The Tech uh, Papers Program is one of SC's most valuable components. Each year we receive submissions of original research that introduce new ideas to the field of simulation that, that stimulate future trends in high-performance computing. As in previous years, the competition was high, with 344 papers submitted covering a wide range of research interests and topics. Our committee met for two days in June to review the papers. At the conclusion of that meeting, the committee had accepted 87 papers, which is a 25% acceptance rate. Of the 87 papers, 14 have been selected as finalists for the Best Paper and Best Student Paper Awards. And now to present the Best Paper, Student Paper, and Best Paper Awards, please welcome Scott Pakin and Michelle Stroud. The 12 finalists for this year's Best Student Paper Award are Large Batch Training for LSTM and Beyond uh, with the lead author, Yang Yu, from University of California, Berkeley, Google uh, LLC. GPU Acceleration of Extreme Scale Pseudo-Spectral Simulations of Turbulence Using Asynchronism, the lead author, uh, uh, Kiran Ravakumar, uh, and colleagues from the Georgia Institute of Technology. Com Detective, a lightweight communication detection tool for threads uh, by Aditya Sasongo from Koch University in Turkey. Slack squeeze coded computing for adaptive straggler mitigation uh, with uh, Krishna Giranara and colleagues at the University of Southern California. Red Blue Pebbling Revisited, near optimal parallel matrix multiplication. Uh, with lead author uh, Jagos Kvanevsky from ETH Zurich. PODD, Power Capping Dependent Distributed Applications by Hua Zhe Zhang, University of Chicago. Prune Train, a fast neural network training by Dynamic Sparse Model Reconfiguration by uh, Sung Kug Lim and colleagues at University of Texas. Slim Graph, Practical Lossy Graph Compression for Approximate Graph Processing, Storage, and Analytics uh, by uh, Macha Besta and colleagues at ETH Zurich. A Constraint-Based Approach to Automatic Data Partitioning for Distributed Memory Execution by Wan Chun Li at Stanford University. A triac, Tripartite Graph-Based Erasure Coding Nick Offload by Hyang Shi and colleagues at Ohio State University. CARE, Compiler Assisted Recovery from Soft Failures by Chao Chen and colleagues at Georgia Institute of Technology. A versatile software systolic execution model for GPU memory bound kernels by Peng Chen at Tokyo Institute of Technology and AIST. Okay. When I announce the winning paper, we welcome all of the authors to join us on stage. The 2019 Best Student Paper Award goes to Red Blue Pebble and Revisited, Near Optimal Parallel Matrix Multiplication by Giagos Kwiatkowski, Marco Kabik, Macha Besta, Rafaela Solka, Just van der Vandele, and Torsten Hoffler.
So some of the best student paper nominees were also nominated for best paper. The nine best paper finalists are Calm Detective, a lightweight communication detection tool for threads by Ditya Sanjongo from and colleagues from Koch University, Turkey. Slack squeeze coded computing for adaptive strag straggler mitigation by Krishna Giri Nara from University of Southern California and colleagues. Red blue pebbling revisited near optimal parallel matrix multiplication by Gajardas uh, Kwaneski from ETH Zurich with colleagues. PODD, power capping dependent distributed applications by Hua Zhe Zhang at University of Chicago and colleagues. Autolemus, bringing probabilistic programming to scientific simulators at scale by Atalem Gienes Bieden uh, at University of Oxford and colleagues. Slim graph, practical lossy graph compression for approximate graph processing, storage, and analytics by Maciej Besta from ATH Zurich and colleagues. A constraint-based approach to automatic data partitioning for distributed memory execution by Wan Chan Li and, and colleagues at Stanford University. A massively parallel infrastructure for adaptive multi-scale simulations, modeling RAS initiation pathway for cancer by Francesco Di Natale at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory and colleagues. And finally, a versatile software systolic execution model for GPU memory bound kernels by Peng Chen and colleagues at AIST. When I announce the winning paper, please join us on stage. The 2019 Best Paper Award goes to a massively parallel infrastructure for adaptive multi-scale simulations, modeling RAS initiation pathway for cancer by Francesco Di Natale and a multitude of colleagues. <laughs> the names are on the slide. <laughs>
Jack tried to say my full name, Sita Rami Silam. <laughs> the poster session is a very important activity where the posters, uh, authors, and audience enjoy face-to-face -face discussions on their uh, technologies. For many authors, this is the first contact with SE. And for some of them, this is the first award. This year, finalists are um, free compiler comp, online training for extended compilers, TSR QR on tensor cores, hierarchical data prefetching in multi-tiered multi storage environments, massively parallel eigen-based, uh, eigen solver based on unconstrained energy functional methods, nanoforous flow uh, simulations on the summit supercomputer, and the SC19 best research poster award goes to nanoporous flow simulations on the summit supercomputer by uh, Yi Dong Chi of uh, Idaho National Laboratory and a bunch of his colleagues. As part of its research activity, SSC19 also hosted uh, the ACM student research competition. It enables undergraduate and graduate students to experience the research world, share results, and exchange ideas. Uh, this year, we received 64 submissions that went through the review process. In the end, 32 student research competition posters were accepted, 20 in the graduate category, and 12 in the undergraduate category. The competition includes travel support uh, for all participating students, as well as cash awards to the finalists. This award is co-sponsored by AC, uh, Microsoft Research as well as the SC19 chair for the undergraduates. Uh, today's first place winner will move on to the ACM Student Research Competition Grand Finals next year. Now we are honored to announce the winners of this year's ACM Student Research Competition. To help me present the awards, please welcome to the stage ACM President Sherry Pancake. We will start with the undergraduate level awards. Um, as we call your name, please join us on the stage. Uh, there are three awards. The SC19 undergraduate third place winner is early experiences on open power architectures, analysis of billion scale uh, atomistic data sets. Uh, Yuya Kami uh, from Grinnell University and Oak Ridge. The, the SC19 undergraduate second place winner is uh, walking the cost accuracy tightrope, balancing trade-offs in data-intensive genomics, Catherine Ling from Princeton University, um, and our advisor, Kyle Chard. And the first place undergraduate winner is uh, a deep learning approach to noise prediction and circuit optimization for near-term uh, term quantum devices, Alexander uh, Zlopkow. Zlop from Caltech. Sorry. And now for the graduate students. You have to stay. <laughs> Not done. Uh, uh, when I call your name, uh, please join us on the stage. Again, three awards. The SC19 graduate level finalists are in the third place, fingerprinting anomalous computations with RNN for GPU accelerated HPC machines uh, by Pengfei Zhu Clemson University and his advisor Rangji. And the second place, data reuse analysis for GPU offloading using, using OpenMP, Alok Mishra. Uh, from Stony Brook and Barbara Chapman from Stony Brook, his advisor. And in the first place, uh, perf taint, taint analysis for uh, automatic many parameter performance modeling, uh, Marcin Kopik, um, ETH Zurich, and Torsten Hoffler, his advisor.
of my time. Mike, there it is. This is the sixth year of the Scientific Visualization and Data Analytics Showcase. Six finalists compete for this award and present their videos during a dedicated session. Movies were judged based on the quality, creativity, innovation, and how they enabled scientific discovery. Now to present the Scientific Visualization and Data Analytics Award, please welcome Janine Bennett. At this time, I'm pleased to announce the winner of the Best Visualization Award for the SC19 Scientific Visualization and Data Analytics Showcase. This year's finalists are Visualization of Entrainment and Mixing Phenomena at Cloud Edges, NVIDIA Accelerated Computing for Visualizing Choya's Galactic Winds, Visualizing the World's Largest Turbulence Simulation, an accessible visual narrative for the primary energy source of life from the full dome show, Birth of the Planet Earth. Visualizing supersonic retropropulsion for Mars, the summit early science results. And visualizing deep learning at scale for the construction of galaxy catalogs in the dark energy survey. And the best visualization award goes to an accessible visual narrative for the primary energy source of life from the full dome show, Birth of the Planet Earth. Malik Schenner, Stuart Levy, AJ Christensen, Robert Patterson, Kalina Borkiovich, John Stone, Barry Israelowitz, Jeffrey Carpenter, and Donna Cox from University of Illinois. They're good at uh, videos, but not so good at uh, direction, I guess, in this sense. <laughs> That's right. Uh, thank you, Janine. Uh, the, the IEEE Computer Society Technical Consortium on High Performance Computing has an early career research award for excellence in high performance computing, which recognizes up to three individuals who have made outstanding, influential, and potentially long-lasting contributions in the field of high performance computing within five years of receiving their PhD. To present the award, please welcome to the stage the chair of the 2019 IEEE CS TCHPC Award Committee, uh, Vladimir Getoff. Thank you, Jack. Uh, I'm very pleased and honored to announce uh, the three winners of the 2019 IEEE CS TCHPC Award of, for Excellence in uh, High Performance Computing. To help me present the awards, please welcome to the stage the chair of the IEEE CS TCHPC, Manish Parashar. Uh, please uh, join us on stage when I call your names in alphabetical order. The three winners are Dr. Yufei Ding, University of California, Santa Barbara. Dr. Hugh Liu, College of William and Mary. <laughs> uh, 
and last but not least, uh, Dr. Guillaume Opi Pelais in Ria, Bordeaux, France. Thank you, uh, Vladimir Minish. Uh, the ACM SIG HPC Emerging Woman Leader in Technical Computing is a biennial award open to any woman who has five to 15 years experience since receiving her highest degree and engaged in technical computing research, education, and or the practice of HPC. This international award creates a, a career milestone achievement and it also establishes a cohort of role models for students and professionals who are just getting started in the field. To present the award, please welcome to the stage Candy Kelhane, the uh, chair of this year's ACM SIG HPC Emerging Woman Leader in Technical Computing. In the fields of high performance and technical computing, as elsewhere in computing, there are fellowships and awards for achievements occurring at the graduate, student, early career, and mature career stages. There are very few awards recognizing individuals in the middle stage of their careers, and none aim specifically at women. These are the years when faculty are working towards promotion and practitioners are moving through middle levels of management, a period which can be especially challenging for women. Technical computing includes all of the various fields that are part of what we think of as HPC. Areas such as visualization, analytics, operations, scientific application software, creation and porting and tuning, libraries, and so on, as well as professionals working with everything from small work group size systems to leading systems. This award is presented every two years during the annual SC conference. The awardee is recognized with a $2,000 cash prize, a plaque, and travel support to SC. And this year's award goes to Trilce Estrada, University of New Mexico. The ACM IEEE Computer Society's George Michael HPC Fellowship honors exceptional PhD students in our field. These fellowships are sponsored by the ACM and the IEEE Computer Society. They include a $5,000 honorarium. To present the award, please welcome back to the stage ACM's president, Sherry Pancake, IEEE Computer Society Vice President for Technical and Conference Activities, Bill Grupp, and a member of this year's George Michaels Fellowship Selection Committee, Liz Jessup. I'm honored to announce the 2019 George Michael Memorial HPC Fellowship winners. Our first 2019 winner is Melinda Fernando from University of Utah. And our second winner is Stacy Smith from the University of Arizona.
The ACM Gordon Bell Prize is awarded for outstanding team achievements in high performance computing. The purpose of the award is to track the progress of high performance computing. Particular emphasis is placed on rewarding innovation and the use of HPC to advance science, engineering, and large scale data analytics. Finalists were chosen on the basis of the performance achieved when their paper was submitted to SC19. The winning team receives a $10,000 award. To announce the finalists, please welcome to the stage the chair of this year's selection committee, Arndt Bode. The two finalists were chosen on the basis of papers that were submitted to justify the above criteria as well as for the first time in Gordon Bell Prize history, recommendation letters to assess the impact of their results in both HPC and the domain sciences. The first finalist paper is fast, scalable, and accurate finite element-based up initio calculations using mixed precision computing, 46 petaflop simulation of a metallic dislocation system with research led by the University of Michigan, Oak Ridge National Laboratory, Los Alamos National Laboratory, and NVIDIA Corporation. The second finalist paper is a data-centric approach to extreme scale up initio dissipative quantum transport simulations with research led by ETH Zurich. The teams presented their work in a session yesterday afternoon. I'm honored to present the ACM Gordon Bell Prize today. Allow me to state that the selection committee went through extensive deliberations to decide the winner. So when I announce the winning paper and team, the winning team, please make your way to the stage. And the winner is ETH Zurich. The next awards are the uh, ACM SIG HPC Certificate of Appreciation and the ACM SIG HPC Intel Computational and Data, Sci Data Science Fellowships. To present these awards is John West, the chair of ACM SIG HPC. An ACM SIG HPC Certificate of Appreciation is presented to the authors of a recent SC paper selected to be used for the SC19 Student Cluster Competition Re Reproducibility Initiative. The paper being honored was selected from an application paper presented at SC18. Will the author of the SC paper, Jia Xi, from Rice University, please join me on stage. And now, if uh, Sherry will join me again, we'll present the next awards. The ACM SIG HPC Intel Computational and Data Science Fellowships were established to increase the participation of underrepresented groups, women students, and those with diverse racial and ethnic backgrounds in computational science uh, graduate programs worldwide. The fellowship, sponsored by Intel and first announced at SC15, includes a stipend of $15,000 a year during graduate studies, plus travel expenses to attend SC. We are honored to present the ACM SIG HPC Intel Computational and Data Science Fellowships today. When I announce the winners, please make your way to the stage. 
Also, if I can ask the audience to please hold your applause until we've read the names of all the recipients. The first is Mariella Fecu Martinez from the University of Toronto. The second, Cynthia Garcia Idel from the University of Illinois at Chicago. Our next is Brianna Harold from the University of Minnesota. Montserrat Alausa Bikan from Tufts University. Luana Pontes Ferreira from the Federal University of Rio Grande do Norte. And Isabella Quintela Matos from Cornell University. Please join me in congratulating all six recipients of the 2009 ACM CHPC Intel Fellowship. Oh, thank you, Sherry and John. As we near the end of SC19, I'd like to thank the ACM, the IEEE Computer Society, SIGHPC, our committees, our exhibitors, and each and every one of you here today. I'd like to invite now to the stage SC General Chair, Michaela Toffer. Thank you, Jack. Today, uh, end of this year award ceremony, I want to recognize some of us who have been attending SC from the very beginning and today are our memory uh, keepers. I want to invite to join me on the stage the perennials who have been attending all the 32 SC editions. Thank you, SC Perennials, for being our memory keepers. And thank you to all of you SC19 attendees. You make this conference success, and we couldn't have done this without you and your participation. We look forward to seeing you all next year in Atlanta. Enjoy the rest of this time at SC19, and thank you again.